circle. Today we are discussing about the control engineering. This is the problem. Sketch the root locus for the following system. G of S into H of S. K divided by S into S square plus 2S plus 2. Number of poles. Here will be a first S is equal to 0. Next. The quadratic equation. Therefore it is 5, 3, 1, 2, 2. It is plus or minus. Minus 1 plus J. Minus 1 minus J. Therefore, there are P is equal to 3 number of poles. Number of zeros, Z is equal to 0. There is no 0, 0. Number of branches, P is greater than Z. Therefore, P is equal to N. N is nothing but 3. Number of branches terminating infinity, P minus Z is nothing but 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 0 is nothing but 3 minus 0 is nothing but here. Uh, 3. Number of branches infinity. Now, the root locus symmetry about the real axis. Root locus present on the real axis. Now, we have to find out the angle of asymptotes where p is nothing but 3, z is 0, minus 1. Therefore, it will be 2. Therefore, k up to 2 you have to take 0, 1, and 2. Now, substitute here in this formula. Therefore, theta naught is nothing but theta naught is nothing but 2 into 0 plus 1, 180 divided by P is 3, 0 is nothing but 60 degree. Similarly, for 1, theta 1 will be 180 and theta 2 will be, you have to replace the K by 1 and 2. Now it will be 300. Now centroid, centroid sum, sum of the P, put sum of the P here. 0 minus 1 plus j minus 1 minus j 0. Send this cancel divided by 3 by 0. The answer will be minus 0 0.66. Breakaway point 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. Therefore, 1 plus this you have to write in place of h of s and g of s plus k divided by Yes, s square plus 2s plus 2 is equal to 0 and it can be written as s is equal to s square plus 2s plus 2 plus k is equal to 0. Further, s cube plus 2s square plus 2s plus k is equal to 0. Therefore, k is nothing but minus s cube plus 2s square plus 2s and now dk by ds is equal to 0 dk by ds is equal to 0. Now differentiate this one. It become 3s square plus 4s plus 2 is equal to 0. Now root for this one is appears s is equal to 1.667 plus or minus 0.47j. Therefore it is a complex. It is a completely complex. No break away point here. It is very important. Because of the complex, no breakaway point. No breakaway point exists. Next is nothing but crossover point or the imaginary axis. By using the RH array, we are taking this point in order to find out the crossover point. Crossover point. S cube plus 2S square plus 2s plus k is equal to 0 and it can be written as s cube s square s1 s no 1 2 2 k plus multiply this and this 2 into 2 k into 1 divided by 2 it will be 4 minus k divided by 2 4 minus k divided by 2 this will be 0 again this and this it will be k it will be k in this way. 4 minus k divided by 2 into k 0 into 2 divided by 4 minus k divided by 2. This and this cancels. This will be 0. It will be k. k. Now find out k term. 4 minus k divided by 2 less than greater than equal to 0 minus k. And this will be 0 minus k is equal to minus 4. This and this will be 
the k is equal to 4. Where the imaginary axis cut, you have to take this one. This is quite term. You have to consider for imaginary axis where the imaginary axis to get cut. 2s square plus k is equal to 0. 2s square plus k is nothing but 4 equal to 0. Now s is nothing but s is nothing but plus or minus j 1.414. This is the value they obtained. This is the value they are going to obtain. Okay. Next, you have to find out the angle of departure. Why we have to find out the angle of departure? Because of this one. Real and imaginary part comes into number of points. Therefore, we have to find out the angle of departure. Now, angle of departure. First, I will consider a small diagram for finding the angle of departure. This will be 1 plus 1j plus 1 minus 1j minus 1j. This will be 1, 2. Now, here the values are obtained minus 1, minus 1 plus j approximately appears here, here, and here. We call it the theta a and theta b. Next is zeros will be here one pole will exist okay that's it now draw a line from this side to this side dotted line already one is there from this side to zeros apart from this one nothing is there now this is nothing but phi p1 and this is nothing but phi p2 there are two angles here now phi p1 is nothing but 90 degree phi p2 is nothing but 180 minus tan inverse perpendicular distance by base there is 1 by 1 1 by 1 is nothing but 135 degree 135 degree now summation for this one and z Zeros are nothing but it is two. Zeros are nothing but zero. There is no zero term here. Therefore, it will be zero. The summation of say phi p is nothing but 90 plus 135. Summation it will be 225 degree. Next phi is nothing but summation of phi p minus summation of phi z is nothing but 225. This will be zero. 225. Now theta a is nothing but what? Theta a is nothing but it is a fixed one minus 180 divided by 5 you have to do it. Minus 180 minus 225 is nothing but minus 45. For theta b it is nothing but minus theta a. It will be plus 45. Plus 45. This completes the angle of departure. Next I will go for the graph. This is the graph. I have taken X axis one unit is equal to three centimeter and y axis one centimeter one unit is equal to three centimeter. This is our drawn it. This is the imaginary part, j omega, is the real part. Real part. First we are going to identify the poles. What are the poles? Here poles are nothing but zero, one more one pole is there. Next One more pole here. This is nothing but one minus plus j one, one minus minus j. Draw the dotted line here. Okay. Next, as we know that it is a complex one. Imaginary part comes in picture. Therefore, no breakaway point. There is no breakaway point of occurs here. No breakaway point. Therefore, what is uh, the centroid? Centroid is 0 0.66. 0 0.66. You have to do in this way. 0 0.66 into 3. 0 0.66 into 3. 0 0.66 into 3 is nothing but 1.98 centimeter. Counted 1.98. This is 1 around here. Sigma is equal to minus one point sorry zero point six six. 
0 0.1.98 centimeter. This is 1, 1.98. Next, next is about you have to find out the angles. Angle 60 degree, 180 degree, 180 means this direction, 180, 60 you have to do it in the centroid, 60. Sixty. The angle will be sixty here. Next angle is one eighty here. Next is about three hundred. Three hundred is nothing but one eighty minus three hundred minus one eighty. You have to do it. It is nothing but one twenty. One twenty. From the centroid. One twenty. One twenty. One twenty. Next, this complete, this incomplete. No breakaway point. No breakaway point. Now you have to go for angle of departure. Okay. Before going the angle of departure, for, go for marking of uh, imaginary axis. It is uh, four point. 1.414 into 3 do it you will get 1.4 into 3 is nothing but 4.2 4.2 is it this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 1 2 3 4 4.22 around here 4.3 1 2 3 4 4.2 minus 1.414 plus 1.414 4.4 centimeter centimeter both sides you have to take in terms of centimeter 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 excellent next Angle of departure here. This is the angle of departure. Now here, in the angle of departure, this is the angle of departure. The angle they have given it. What is the angle? 45 minus 44 for theta a, theta b, uh, plus 45. It will be minus 45. Minus means you are just tilt the protector again this way minus and take 45 degree from this direction 45 this is the 45 positive 45 that means it a thin line should be drawn thin line thin line now from here, it goes in this way, infinite. From here, exactly parallel to this one, okay, you have to draw it, infinite, infinite. What is the value of k? k is equal to 4, k is equal to 4. In this way, you have to draw it. I am Santosh Jayadankar. Thank you very much.